Four, oh, you're recording. That's good. Cool. <laughs> uh, uh, all right, we're going to be doing, working on Chi Square. Welcome back. Uh, it's the second YouTube video of 2009-2010. One of the best years ever. I just feel it. Mendel worked with pea plants with inflated and constricted pods. If inflated is dominant, it's a 3 to 1 ratio. Find the following if Mendel got 555 inflated and 129 constricted pea plants in his experiment. Okay? All right, so we're going to try to figure out if this fits the 3 to 1 ratio to a mathematical chi square equation. Okay? We're going to use our table here. What do I write in the classes? Inflated, inflated, inflated and constricted. So let's do that. stand for? Well, obviously, observed. So what do I write here? What number do I write right here? 555. 555. Okay. Okay. And, and what was that? 129. 125. 925? 129. 129? Okay. <laughs> All right. So get 555, 129. Do I worry about this? No, because I don't have any other classes. I just made this table for four things, okay? Okay, so don't worry about that. So, if you just kind of follow down, okay, what do you do next? Find the magic number. Magical number! Nice guess. You don't find the magical number yet. Magical number! <laughs> what, what do you find? Add them, Add them up in the total. Absolutely. So, what's 555 plus 129? 684. Okay, so let's write that here. Now, David, you're going to find what I've coined the magical number. Magical number! And so, <laughs> how do we do that? You divide by the ratio. Divide by the ratio, and the problem tells us that the ratio is what? Three to one. Three to one. So, do I divide by three? No. Do I divide by 1? No. no. Do I divide by 16? No. What do I divide by? 4. four. four. Why? Because three. 3 plus 1 is 4. <laughs> okay? So I'm going to divide by 4 here because that's the ratio. 684 is, uh, divided by 4 is what? 171. Yes. Straight up? Yes. No decimals? Yes. Huh. Okay, so now what now what do I do with the, the magical number? Magical number. Yeah. Multiply, Multiply it by the ratio. And we said the ratio was what? Three to one. Three to one. So let's take 171 times three and put it right there. What's 171 times three? 513. And what's 171 times one? Are you sure? 100%. Okay. All right. So now I've got my classes. I've got my observed. I've got my expected. I'm going to get my deviations. How do you get your deviations? Subtract O1 from E1. Right? Okay. So what's 555 minus 513? 42? Huh. What's 129 minus 171? Negative 42. Negative 42. Hey, so when you see something like this as opposed to the last problem, are there kind of like some signals going off in your head like, ooh, boy, seems big. Maybe, maybe not. What's 42 squared? 1764. 1764. What a great year. Yeah, Mr. Gilbert was just telling me about it. <laughs> All right, what's 42 squared? 1764. 1764, yeah. And, and this deviation squared gets rid of what? The negative. The negative, yeah. Okay, you know that chi squared is, I'll just write it down here, d squared over e1 plus d squared 2 over e2. 
So in this case, chi squared is 1764 divided by 5, oh sorry, 513 plus 1764 divided by 171. Okay? So I'm taking this number and dividing it by this number. This divided by this. What's 1764 divided by 513? 3.43. 3.43 plus what's 1764 divided by 171? 10.31. 10.31. Oh boy. So what's 10.31 plus 3.43? 13.74. What's that? 13.74? Yeah. And that is my chi square. Are we done? No. Are we done? No. Are we done? No. Are we done? No. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> okay, so now I gotta look at this thing. I'm going to put this up on the whiteboard as well. <laughs> All right, how many classes do we have? Two. 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 What are my classes? Inflated, Inflated constricted. Does that matter here? No, it doesn't. So here's my two classes. I'm going to go across and find 13. Oh, my goodness, it's way over here. It's past the magical line. Magical line. <laughs> So, is that significant or not significant? Does Mendel's experiment here fit a 3 to 1 ratio? No, something went wrong. Okay? And that's how you do a chi square problem. Adios. I'm not.